Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your host, Buckning, and today we're going to talk about the number one secret to investing. Um, and it's actually not a secret, but it is my secret and, and what has kept me going throughout these turmoil times of ups and downs and so on and so forth. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we put $100 a week into a tax-free savings account to build a dividend portfolio right in front of your eyes. And if you're not new, welcome back. So as you can see here on the portfolio, we'll give you an update on what's going on. Um, closing out at $13,141.90, down $228.18 on the day. Uh, what's new, right? Uh, down 1.71% for the day for the one week, down $750.65, down 5.4%. Great, great. Love to see it. For the one month, down $1,300.63, down a whopping 9% for the past month. For the three months, we're down $694.37, down 5.02%. For the one year, down $933.48, down 6.63%. And for the all, uh, we're up $20.40, up 0.16% for the all time uh, since starting this portfolio. Uh, right now, we have $12.96 in the cash account. $100 will be available this Friday uh, for when we make our purchases. So that is the portfolio here. Nothing really new. Um, honestly, nothing really new markets down, um, down trending anyways today, looked like it was going to recover and just the total drop off, um, there, if we're just looking at the lines and, uh, not looking at value, because as you can see on the side of the value there, they're all 13.2 K. So 1,300 and some dollars and, or yeah, 1,300 some dollars. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's not just looking at the lines. I know a lot of people like to look at lines and graphs and, and so on and so forth. And they do play a part when it comes to analyzing, you know, a purchase in, uh, in a company that you may be looking to buy in the stock price. But yeah, um, it's not the, it doesn't tell the whole story. And so let's talk about my secret, my secret to investing. Now, this is not financial advice. Of course, this is just for entertainment purposes only as a full disclosure and, um, yeah, do what you will, but this is my strategy and uh, you can follow your own or, you know, do whatever. So the number one secret when it comes to my style of investing is the infamous dollar cost averaging. DCA also um, for those acronyms, but uh, dollar cost averaging. If you don't know what that is, it's um, systematically, periodically buying um, into the market or investing in the market using the same dollar amount you, over the same intervals, like every two weeks, every week in this case, every two weeks, every month, every year, whatever it may be, um, dollar cost averaging. So whether whatever the price may be of the company stock that you're looking at, you're buying it at the highs, the lows, the in the middles, the way up highs, the way down lows, and you just continue to buy it same amount, um, same interval as usual. And, and of course there's always going to be ups and downs, uh, to dollar cost averaging. It's not always, uh, roses and, and rainbows as they would say. Um, so what is dollar cost averaging? It is, like I said, when you are consistently investing, uh, when the stock price is up, when the stock price is down, no matter the price and at a set interval, and what I mean by interval is every day, maybe every week, every couple weeks, every month, every six weeks, every whatever interval you may choose. Um, but it's always that time frame, that interval. Now that shouldn't stop you from investing more. If you see value, of course, um, this is the thing about personal finance, quote unquote, it's personal. So whatever works out for you in the scenario. So we'll talk about a few things like, um, why dollar cost averaging? Well, for me, I don't know if you guys ever played that game, uh, snakes and ladders. I, I, I can't remember how to play it, but let me just, uh, Google the, uh, the snakes and ladder, um, board game. And, uh, let's see what, what it reminds me of. Okay. So 
in the game snakes and ladders your goal is to get to the 100 but if you land on a ladder it goes straight up to another number to get you closer to the end or the snake which brings you up even further so um if you can just if you ever played the game snakes and ladders i know it's a board game and no one plays board games these days or maybe it's a trend maybe it's coming back but if you can imagine the snake that's always going up and down but going in a direction from bottom left to top right um, and you laid the ladder over it the ladder from the tail end to the head end you would see a straight line and what you're doing is not buying you're buying the ups and downs but essentially what you're 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 investing in is the ladder is that straight across from the bottom left to the top right the average and you'll be in up and down below above that line but you pretty much stay condensed within that that area of the um bird's eye or these shortest path which is straight uh, on a piece of paper and that's what you're buying you're typically buying the average whatever the price may be you are buying the average price from the middle from the bottom left to the top right from whatever that up and down looks like okay so if you can picture that in your head that is essentially what you're doing now dollar cost averaging um what it essentially does let's say you buy a, a share at fifty dollars okay um and then you buy another share the same share at 45 dollars your your average is about 47 dollars and 50 cents which is lower than the 50 but higher than the 45 so it's right about in the middle and that is essentially what you're investing in is that middle part where um it's modest it's it's just an average right and so what the downside to that is that you could potentially miss out on on massive massive returns um and there aren't many examples of that unless you're dollar cost averaging into tesla or something um you would feel that you probably could have just bought at one point and sold at another however that's not always the case and no one can ever predict that the other so that's like one downside that i can only see in dollar cost averaging um the the upside about it is though is that you have a system in place you have a system where you're you're buying the same amount over the same amount of intervals always um and and that doesn't get the emotions involved okay so that's like the upside is your emotions kind of stay out of it it stays under control because you have a system in place you already know within yourself you're gonna buy whether it's up whether it's down because you're buying the average so that's the upside of dollar cost averaging now a lot of people talk about dollar cost averaging but i don't know how many people actually put it into play um and the reason I say that is because dollar cost averaging kind of saves you from investing maybe too much at the wrong time. You know, a lot of people want to time the market. Let's say you you buy shares at five hundred dollars and it drops to two fifty, and you have no more money, uh, no more capital to invest because you put all your capital all at once. You deployed it way too quickly. Um, you essentially have no more capital to invest. So when it's down, down. You can't you miss that opportunity so there's opportunity cost when it comes to not dollar cost averaging but there's also missed opportunity on the other side where you know you're going to miss out on some major return you know i like to think about it, of it like um, <clears throat> a strategy of course in in war i would never if i was the the commander in general or general and commander whatever the, the highest rank is i would not deploy all my troops all at once um, there'd be strategy, of course, involved, and I deploy as what is necessary in in regular interv intervals, and and that's the greatest thing, you know. If you if you put soldiers out there, this is like totally weird, but if you put a, your whole army out on the battlefield, they're eventually going to run out of energy, and there's no one to switch them out. Where if you had like a rotation of set intervals, you know, these guys go out, and then these guys go out, it's a whole new batch of whole new energy and and whole new opportunities. And so that's kind of the way I like to look at it. You know, I like to look at my dollars as like um, my capital soldiers that go out into the battle and get deployed and, and capture, you know, hostages to bring back and, and put in the portfolio and then they get converted and then they go out and do it again. Um, that's essentially what I'm doing when I'm investing and dollar cost averaging is, it seems to be the only way. And yes, there have been studies where dollar cost averaging is maybe not the best. Um, there are, um, people that do not do it and that's totally fine like I said personal finance is personal 
And so my secret is dollar cost averaging. If you want to put more funds in, you totally can. You know, if one day you see that one of the positions that you own is down 10, 15% for the week. Yeah, for sure. If you want to put in more funds that are available to you, then yeah, go ahead. You know, it's not, it's not like it's this hard, fast rule where this is the only way, this is the one way where the Mandalorian would say, this is the way, um, it's, it's not like that. Okay. Um, it's your strategy. You do what you wish, but you know, keep it consistent because it, it, it at least gives you the opportunity to continue to invest without, you know, trying to time the market. If you want to try and time it where, you know, it's down 15% and you want to throw in some extra funds in there, go ahead. No problem. Right. It, it, it would probably do you better because you know, your dollar cost averaging, essentially you're buying at a lower price, bringing your average cost down to a, a price that, that you're trying to, um, to hit for, to help you sleep at night. Cause all that matters is that you're able to sleep at night. And so we, we can see the markets going down, um, and it's down trending and, and it's hurting for a lot of people. And, and that's just reality. But if, if you truly are, um, you know, buying the dip and, and truly want to see the returns, uh, that we always talk about, um, from people that are so experienced that, you know, they're always saying buy the dip, this is the, that opportunity. And, and it's probably going to be the trend going forward in these videos, just talking about that. Um, cause I'm always going to call you out. Um, I'm pretty transparent with, with this portfolio, as you can see, everything's there and, uh, I update you guys every week. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, but that's the secret dollar cost average. Um, in my opinion, strongest way to do it keeps the emotion out. Um, and it gives you the ability to continue to invest without running out of capital because you have a set amount at a set interval and you're not doing this uh, crazy. I'm going to put a bunch in and then a little bit later and then a bunch more later and, and so on and so forth. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Have a great week and uh, yeah, we'll see you what, Saturday. So uh, bye.